Well, a summary of all our activities can be found in the eHealth Action Plan 2012-2020, which is uh, consolidating the work done at the European level and underlining also important work which is done in the member states. And we could say that it is divided into four parts. It work on interoperability, work on supporting research and innovation, work on uh, deployment and awareness raising and international cooperation. So I would say that in all these areas the work needs to be done because we are far from being perfect in any of these. But uh, a lot is also at the same time happening. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that in the cross-border healthcare directive about the patient rights, uh, it is already uh, set the need for uh, implementing cross-border exchange of patient data and electronic prescription. And that is the uh, regulatory work that has been taken forward. But there are also other activities ongoing at the European level, which are put together in the eHealth Action Plan 2012-2020. And it is specifically mentioning the work on uh, interoperability, the work on uh, research and innovation support, uh, the work on awareness raising and uh, deployment of eHealth in uh, the member states, and the work on international cooperation. And uh, under the first part of it, interoperability, it specifically mentions health, M Health, uh, which is part of eHealth, and uh, the work on that is also which is taken up recently. Certainly, we have to uh, enhance the cooperation in terms of interoperability where a lot needs to be done as regards the technical, semantic, legal and organisational interoperability path. But uh, also, when it comes to M-Health, it has been identified through the public consultation that there is a need for more trust, uh, in particular on uh, data privacy of M-Health apps. And also, uh, there was a request to work on guidelines on reliability and validity of M-Health apps data. So this work is ongoing and that is uh, important to underline. But at the same time, not less important are, is the work to support innovation uh, and also the research, which we do through the research and innovation funding uh, Horizon 2020, to raise awareness, which is done in different spheres by different people and I would say permanently, to improve the digital skills, both of population in large, but as also on workforce, uh, so that it will increase the understanding of the uh, way the tools can be and should be used, but also about digital health literacy, which is also addressing both the citizens and the work, healthcare workforce. And I would also like to mention the, the question of funding opportunities which are available. Uh, not that it needs a regulatory work, but it certainly needs an awareness that uh, these funding opportunities are available. And when we come to international cooperation, then we are working closely with the World Health Organization and the International Telecommunication Union. And uh, we are also working uh, together with other countries, um, particularly we have signed a memorandum of understanding with the United States, working together on interoperability and uh, the ecosystems and the workforce skills. So there is a lot happening actually and a lot still needs to be done.